quantum in the grid. So what's going on? Quantum in the power grid. What the heck's going on? Yeah, I, I, this is a new uh, new first for quantum. Uh, you know, quantum is gradually moving out and, and doing different things. And uh, this is a new application. Uh, Atom Computing is located in uh, Boulder, Colorado. And uh, Atom is a, uh, a startup uh, using uh, neutral neutral atoms and uh, as uh, qubits. And it's working with the uh, National Renewable Energy Laboratory in uh, Golden. Um, it seems like the, uh, the, the people that manage the uh, power grid are kind of concerned about what's going to happen in the future. Right now, they've got a supercomputer that does uh, optimization on, on uh, you know, something goes down or breaks or uh, a transformer blows out. Uh, they have to have ways to optimize the uh, grid and reroute it and that type of thing. Uh, there's like 7,300 power plants in the grid and, and like a couple hundred thousand miles of high voltage lines and uh, millions of miles of low voltage lines and a lot of distribution transformers in the grid. So uh, it's a highly complex uh, optimization job. So they're looking at uh, using quantum because it's got a lot more capability than than uh, um, like a supercomputer for for analyzing a lot of different uh, scenarios. So they're going to be testing that out. Um, one of the first jobs is that they're going to simulate a uh, like a local line goes down, and uh, Atom Computer will have to use uh, its uh, quantum computer to to uh, simulate a uh, reroute to fix that over. So it should be interesting, and I expect it to. Uh, probably expand out more and maybe some industrial applications for managing power at the, uh, you know, like a large building or something like that. So mm -hmm. it'd be interesting. Yeah. I love that real use cases are, are kind of coming to the surface. Yeah. And I also like it, you know, before we've, you know, whatever we want to call it, quantum supremacy, where real workloads are better done in quantum than they are solely with traditional uh, computing. Yeah. And this is a good one. And folks are doing, you know, really uh, good stuff there uh, at Atom. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting. Atom, to me, could be one of these dark horses that, you know, some people might not be keeping a, a big enough eye on. Yeah. And they could be the one that come out and really surprise uh, a lot of folks they yeah. don't say yeah. as much as the other folks right um which always like hmm that's either you're behind or you just don't want to talk about the awesomeness and i know enough to be dangerous um and we talk to their ceo a lot uh and their team uh to get input